Hey guys, first installment of some of our uh, gear how-to videos and tips and thoughts and stuff like that, little series we want to start doing. Um, this first installment, something we want to talk about is your sling and your rifle and how you run it. Now, typically, what is generally the accepted norm in most American ways of thinking, current tactical training, that sort of thing, most schools of thought, is either a single point or a two point sling ran in a configuration such as how I have this one right now. Over your shoulder coming underneath your non-dominant side. The idea being that you can side down on, on the rifle, but if you have to transition, you drop it to a stable place in front of you, transition to your sidearm, and the rifle stays put. In a SWAT or CQB um, type environment, it's a, a good way to go. <clears throat> it keeps the weapon stable and close to you, etc. But let's think about it from a different perspective for a minute and get into it more from a standpoint of if you've paid attention to any of the stuff that uh, Max Velocity has been putting out over on his website. In his blog, if you get into more catastrophic events, crap hit the fan situations, that sort of thing, we're talking things have really gone bad, and you're out actually having to patrol with friends, family, um, whoever, be it just to maintain security around your premises, wherever you're at, or for you know, other more, more offensive reasons or defensive reasons or whatever the case may be, you find yourself out having to patrol. You'll probably spend more time with the rifle slung in or carrying it than actually shooting. Well, that comes into question, is this method the preferred method? Is it okay? Is there a better way, et cetera? Well, one of the problems that I found with this method is for long periods of time, when you're walking, etc., as you'll be doing in a patrol, <clears throat> you end up finding yourself holding the weapon more with the weight of your arms than the sling. That's because if you sling it and try to walk your knee, I know you can't see it on the camera here, but where the barrel comes down, is banging into your knee magazines hitting you in the in the crotch, etc. So you end up holding it more. Well, for any of you that have ever been in the military and ever done any real long ruck marches with just really fun drill sergeants that made you hold your weapon for many, many miles, like some of us have, um, albeit we were usually at port arms, regardless, here, there, you're still holding the weapon. Our theory here is you'd be a little bit better off in switching your doctrine of going to more of a, in a lot of places it's traditionally called a patrol carry. Switch the sling the opposite direction of what you're used to using it. You can actually let the rifle hang and it'll be kind of off to your off of your center line just a little bit and it's not hitting anything when you when you move or when you walk. Also, you can bring it up to a more horizontal position when you're when you're moving. So you've got control of your muzzle. You can go down with it if you need be. But also from here, because remember, let me just back up and caveat something. In a patrol, you're not going to be pointing it straight ahead at the guy in front of you. Everybody's going to be alternating in the direction that they're looking and facing and walking. So you shouldn't have any problems keeping your muzzle horizontal while you're patrolling and not flagging any of your teammates, okay? If you do have to transverse across them, you can drop it down, or if you prefer, you can come up with it if there's somebody in, in, in front of you or wherever that you need to go across. So let's eliminate that. But this way, I can keep it here. If you do make contact, 
it's very quick to come up on the shoulder with it, okay? I can do anything I need to do. I can go straight into a prone position, kneeling position, whatever from here. I can move real effectively. The other key thing is from here, when I go to do a reload, my sling is right here. It's not getting in the way of any of my stuff. Now, this away, when I go, see how taut the sling comes under my armpit right here? That's a little uncomfortable, especially under stress. This way, the sling's completely loose. There's no tension on it. I can do my reloads just fine. Now, some people teach, you always wanna do your reload from out here. That's great, but I'm figuring there's probably a 90 plus percent chance that in a real fight, especially in a patrol situation, you're not gonna find yourself fighting from this position. Okay, if you do, you're gonna get dead real quick. You're probably gonna be kneeling behind something, prone out behind something, etc. cetera, cover. That being the case, when you go to get behind cover, let's just say the contact's over there and I'm behind this tree and I go dry, I can come up right here, execute my reload, and then I'm right back out shooting again, okay? So just illustrating what I'm talking about with, with the sling. It's just a way of doing it. I can also rest my arms a little bit on the rifle if I'm in a situation where I need to talk to my team or whatever, friends. I've got good control over it, but some of the weight of the rifle is on my sling and not on my arms. It keeps my arms fresh for when I actually need to use it. So just throwing this out there for discussion, food for thought, think about it, talk about it. Give us your thoughts, give us your feedback. Maybe there's something that y'all thought of that, that we haven't. Um, you know, that, that's why we want to do this. Throw it out there, just something for you to think about get discussion going. So again, for patrol purposes, we like the idea of patrolling with your rifle slung this away versus more traditionally thought of this direction. Give it a try, see what you think.